आत्मनिर्भर भारत वो तभी हो पाएगा जब हमारे सारे ब्रांचेज ऑफ साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग मिलकर काम करें हाउ द इंडस्ट्री विल सर्वाइव नो बडी टेकिंग केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग और मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग कम वेर द इंडस्ट्री विल डिमांड मोर एंड मोर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर और केमिकल इंजीनियर पीपल आर टॉकिंग अबाउट आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस डेटा साइंस these are the need of the world do you see a need for reducing the number of seats for core engineering what we have did in the new curriculum 55% is the core branch so a person who is doing mechanical engineer will have the opportunity to do 20 up to 20 credit courses in the computer science but student goes to alternate careers do you feel disappointed the demand in it sector is much more or students are leaving the engineering branches and going to these kind of branches like science economic public policy kya uski performance course khatam karne ke baad bhi on similar pattern rehti hai coaching institutes ka jo mindset hai wo thoda sa different hai sometimes they give a training this is not correct this is not correct this is not correct so this will be the correct answer sometimes they feel right that they have lost welcome to shiksha.com i am deepak singh with you today i am sitting in the campus of iit roorkee indian institute of technology roorkee with the director himself professor kk pan professor sir a very warm welcome to shiksha.com because we are shiksha.com and we are speaking about the education to the uh, to students my first question will be about your education journey what kind of education you had in your career and how what was the education journey of yours i belong to a very humble family so i my primary education happened from the small town in moradabad and then my father right he was on a government job so transferred to bageshwar which is again in uttarakhand so from class 8 to 12th i studied there in bageshwar and again after that my father transferred to kanpur so i got the opportunity to right through one of the entrance exam i got the admission in hbti kanpur and uh, then i did my btech from 1983 to 87 there and uh, then i did my master because i had a passion for higher education and uh, looking the different kind of education environment also so i got the admission to get uh, in uh, 1989 87 when you did your engineering it was in which field uh, what was your specialty uh, yeah it is in chemical engineering okay. i did btech in chemical engineering and then i got admission for master program at iit kanpur so in 1987 to 89 i did my master just after my btech again in chemical engineering and that has increased my passion for teaching gradually while doing the research and uh, my advisor was i am thankful to my advisor also master advisor who motivated me for phd also so in the meantime i after just after mtech i got because of my excellence uh, i got the job at hbti kanpur as a lecturer okay so i joined as a lecturer but my passion for phd was not gone so after 3 years of this lecture sir i just again moved back to iit kanpur and 93 to 97 i did my phd from iit kanpur again in chemical engineering and in 99 i joined iit delhi as an assistant professor okay so since 1999 to 2022 i was at iit delhi okay. and doing my research teaching right and several academic administrative activities also and then i got the opportunity to work as an administrator also because uh, i had that kind of mindset that i have reached to that level of academic excellence so i thought that i should do something right for my society and where i right brought and born and brought up so i thought that if i get the opportunity to work for this local society also i will work so that gave me a motivation to look for this kind of administrative responsibility Fortunately, I got that, and uh, now I am here. And uh, on deputation, I am still at IIT Delhi as a professor. On deputation, I am here for five years. आपको क्या लगता है कि ऐसे changing times में क्या IIT रुड़की भी साथ में बदलाव कर पा रहा है? IIT रुड़की also right uh, when the in 1847 it was mainly right civil engineering. Then several new branches came like metallurgy of IIT रुड़की was one of the right uh, among the topmost branch and very well known branch. But gradually you know that the it's a kind of where the new area like electronics communication computer science and now people are talking about artificial intelligence data science these are the need of the world then public policy and economics because when you look at any growth right of the community any growth of the industry then i feel that the combination of all these branches are very important so now we are motivating our students for startups right uh, the government is also initiating for make in india concept atmanirbhar bharat वो तभी हो पाएगा जब हमारे सारे ब्रांचेज ऑफ साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग मिलकर काम करें और इंडस्ट्री तो किसी भी इंडस्ट्री को 
सिविल इंजीनियर की भी जरूरत होती है केमिकल इंजीनियर की जरूरत होती है मैकेनिकल की जरूरत होती है और इलेक्ट्रिकल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स कंप्यूटर एंड इकोनॉमिक्स फाइनली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट है क्योंकि जब तक आप उसको ओवरऑल इकोनॉमी एनालिसिस नहीं कर लेते द इंडस्ट्रियल ग्रोथ नहीं हो सकती तो मेरा ऐसा मानना है कि हमें सभी ब्रांचेज ऑफ साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग को लेकर आगे बढ़ना है एंड दिस इज वट आई एम डूइंग एट आई टी रुड़की ऑल्सो बिकॉज ऑल ब्रांचेज ऑफ साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग आर इंपॉर्टेंट एंड नाउ स्टूडेंट शुड बी मोटिवेटेड अकॉर्डिंग but as in when the choice of students are tilted more towards computer science how will you see the prospects of these engineering in the future ek undergrad student jab aata hai ya jee jab clear karte hain bacche unko utni knowledge nahi hote ki har branch of science hai unko parents ka bhi kuch pressure hota hai apna pressure hota hai aur bahut si cheeze wo dekhte hain ki society mein no doubt the computer science and engineering jaise bahut aajkal popular hai aur logo ke dimag mein multinational companies ki baat aati hai दे आर हाईली पैकेज कॉम्पेंसेशन अट्रैक्टिव और स्टूडेंट्स के माइंड में दे फील दैट आफ्टर डूइंग सो वर्क ऑफ राइट सो मेनी इयर्स ऑफ हार्ड वर्क द पैकेज शुड बी वेरी गुड आई आई एग्री विद दम राइट बिकॉज मनी इज ऑल्सो नीडेड राइट फॉर द ओन डेवलपमेंट एंड ऑल दिट आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बट एट द सेम टाइम आई से दैट द एथिक्स इज ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट नॉलेज ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट and how do you contribute it to the society is very important and when i look at for the industrial growth right because otherwise how the industry will survive right. nobody is taking chemical engineering or mechanical engineering as you said right then how the industry will survive i think the there will always be a phase change if this happens continuously for right subsequent 5 or 10 years a day will come where the industry will demand more and more mechanical engineer or chemical engineer and then package will change accordingly okay. so okay. i think that kind of paradigm shift will come and uh, currently with the uh, with the pressure of students asking for uh, preferring towards computer science and it field do you see uh, a need for reducing the number of seats for core engineering and increasing upon the seats of uh, these in demand courses see generally we do that depending okay. upon the demand right and supply we just change these numbers but not to a significant number because as i just said now we are motivating our student for startups right see any industry it needs a mechanical engineer any industry right development did require some chemical engineer they will require some kind of right science uh, students also and of course the computer science electronic because data science yeah, artificial right. intelligence and internet of things these are coming up in a big way so where this demand demand of these engineers will also be there so i would like to see a combination as i said multidisciplinary approach fortunately in the new education policy we have already implemented it here and uh, our next batch of this student they will have this kind of new education policy okay. where they have the option so what we have did in the new curriculum 55% is the core branch that is the 55 credits right percent of the courses they will do from the department and remaining they will do from outside okay. means suppose because of some reason the student is not getting the branch of his or her choice he can do the minor in the other branch of science so a person who is doing mechanical engineer will have the opportunity to do 20 up to 20 credit courses in the computer science also and again as you said artificial intelligence so we have now a school of data science and artificial intelligence here in iit roorkee very recently we have opened the undergrad student so sometimes we whatever the number of seats when the new branches of science engineering are open we transfer the student from some of the core branches say five we cut the five seats and transfer it to the new branch of science engineering तो यू आर समवन जिसने रिसर्च पे बहुत काम किया हुआ है तो ऐसे में यू नो व्हेन स्टूडेंट ऑप्ट आउट ऑफ द कोर फील्ड फॉर कॉम्पनसेशन पैकेजेस एज अ फैकल्टी एज समवन हु ट्यूटर्स डू यू फील समाइम डिसअपॉइंटेड कि मेहनत करी बच्चे के ऊपर मैकेनिकल लैब्स वगैरह में सिविल लैब्स में केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग वगैरह में या फिर आपके यहाँ पे अर्थक्वेक इंजीनियरिंग वगैरह होती है ऐसे ऐसे वाटर रिसोर्स के डिपार्टमेंट्स हैं स्पेशलाइज डिपार्टमेंट स्पेशलाइज रिसोर्स लगता है बट स्टूडेंट गोज टू ऑल्टरनेट करियर्स डू यू फील डिसअपॉइंटेड नॉट टू ग्रेट एक्सटेंट एक्चुअली वी शुड गिव द कम्प्लीट फ्रीडम राइट टू ए स्टूडेंट वेन ही एंटर्स इन टू द सिस्टम एंड वेन ही लिव्स इट इज हिज और हर चॉइस राइट एंड इट्स हिज और हर पैशन ऑल्सो आई हैव ऑब्जर्व दैट समटाइम द स्टूडेंट बाय दर ऑन चॉइस दे गो टू द कोर ब्रांचेज दे हैव द पैशन फॉर द रिसर्च सो दे गो फॉर द हायर एजुकेशन ऑल्सो इन अब्रॉड right so that is where the i think we should give them the flexibility 
and system is running. See, as far as our demand and supply is satisfied, okay. right? I think this they should be allowed to go anywhere because presently the demand in IT sector is much more, and this is increasing their knowledge. And sometimes, what I have observed that after four or five years, they think for their own startup, and then they implement their branch, whatever the core branch of the science and engineering they have done, okay. and they implement that, and whatever the knowledge they have gained from the industrial exposure, they use there also. So yes. I think that that's a, it's a acceptable and uh, wish allow them okay and don't you think because the preference is for computer science and it fields not much of the uh, you know the genius minds uh, come to the core field the genius always goes to computer science and it the top rankers all are preferring those kind of ranks and those kind of uh, streams and specializations aapko kya lagta hai ki kya in fields ke sath injustice hota hai is tarike se aisa bhi nahi lagta mujhe kyunki jaise ki maine bataya ki kuch kabhi kabhi maine dekha hai ki jee ke topper bachche physics mein bhi ja rahe hain integrated physics kar rahe hain wo log integrated kyunki unke dimag mein science test banna hai to nasa unke dimag mein hai ki after doing physics integrated physics they will go to right nasa or they will go to other these different sectors so i i have observed that couple of students they have the focus mindset and they have left the engineering and they have gone to science okay so that is also happening and this trend is coming now then even economics is also coming up in a big way so people are or students are leaving the engineering branches and going to these kind of branches like science economics public policy so these are coming up now in future aapko kya lagta hai aapko perspective janna chahta hu ki jaise आईआईटी आई स्टूडेंट्स जब एडमिशन लेता है उससे पहले खूब मेहनत करता है एक साल दो साल मेहनत करता है आईआईटी का मेन क्रैक करता है एडवांस्ड क्रैक करता है तब जाके आईआईटी जे जैसे इंस्टीट्यूट में उसका एडमिशन होता है क्या उसकी परफॉर्मेंस जो आईआईटी में थी क्या उसकी परफॉर्मेंस कोर्स खत्म करने के बाद भी ऑन सिमिलर पैटर्न रहती है और देर इज अ डिविजन आपके परस्पेक्टिव से या फिर आपके एनालिसिस में क्या परफॉर्मेंस होती है डज दैट मैच या फिर डिफरेंस हो जाता है स्टूडेंट का सी Uh, जैसा कि अगेन ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन आपने पूछा है क्योंकि आजकल कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट्स का जो माइंडसेट है वो थोड़ा सा डिफरेंट है दे डोंट वांट टू क्लियर द फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स और डाउट्स ऑफ द स्टूडेंट राइट बिकॉज आई बिलीव दैट द फंडामेंटल्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वेन दे आर एट दैट एंड प्लस टू लेवल देर फंडामेंटल फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री मैथ्स राइट कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स इन दैट एरिया दे शुड डेवलप दैम राइट but somehow the coaching institutes right they have made that how to right negate the questions answers right which are not correct right so they make this kind of some or they they know the questions are mcq type and this thing so sometimes they give a training this is not correct this is not correct this is not correct so this will be the correct answer okay. right so this kind of training so when they come here first day, in the first year my observation is that uh, sometimes they feel right that they have lost right mm-hmm. and that's where the important role of our right academy body comes our dean of student come we just again maintain right and uh, build them psychology sometimes they feel that they have done the hard work during the coaching right and now they did not get the branch of their choice that is another <coughs> kind of the frustration it comes so we just motivate them because this is now the need of the our all branches of science and engineering are important and nep has given them the opportunity now for the multidisciplinary multiple entry they can go the industry right do, between any right their duration of the course spend 6 months there and then come back they have the opportunity to have their own startup entrepreneurship skill develop those kind of trainings we are doing so what i say that we don't believe in the bookish knowledge we want to make the knowledge practical right so we ask them that whatever the subject you are learning just think why are you learning this what is the outcome of this what you will gain when you complete this course that's more important and when they think in that direction right i i, I have observed that they have improved a lot okay. so this kind of right environment in any engineering institute right the personality development in all these skill overall skill development these are also very important and this is in what way we train them for their overall jo jise kehte hain ki pura vikas hona chahiye chhatra ka जब जो यहाँ से निकलते हैं एंड दिस इज वट वी ऑब्जर्व तो दे फील द कॉन्फिडेंट राइट इन दम सर तो वी फील द कॉन्फिडेंस एंड आपके यहाँ पे काउंसलिंग के से रिलेटेड कुछ नया इनिशिएटिव भी है थोड़ा उसके बारे में वी हैव अ स्टूडेंट वेलनेस सेंटर हियर वेर वी हैव कैप्ट द सेक्रेटरीस्ट ऑल्सो और फॉर जनरल थिंग्स ऑल्सो वी हैव मेड ए क्रिएटिव सेंटर ऑल्सो 
सो वी जस्ट गिव दम द कम्प्लीट फ्रीडम वहाँ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक के इक्विपमेंट भी है मैकेनिकल के इक्विपमेंट भी है आप कुछ भी करिए रोबोट बनाइए तो दे स्पेंड देयर टाइम देयर ड्यूरिंग इवनिंग आवर एंड ग्रुप में बनाते हैं और बहुत सी क्रिएटिव चीजें वी हैव मेड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस काइंड ऑफ एनवायरमेंट एंड वेलनेस सेंटर ये है कि अगर कभी कभी जैसे छात्र को कभी इसको ठीक नहीं कर पाया एग्जाम में अच्छा नहीं कर पाया तो परेशान भी होते हैं घर से दूर होते हैं तो वो एक परेशान होते हैं कि फैमिली लाइफ में कुछ प्रॉब्लम है तो परेशान होते हैं तो वी हैव ए वेलनेस सेंटर जहाँ वो जाते हैं वहाँ उनको गाइड किया जाता है उनको मॉरल बूस्टर दिया जा बूस्ट किया जाता है तो दैट इज वट द काइंड ऑफ इन्वायरमेंट वी वॉन्ट टू मेक ए कम्प्लीट लाइक दैट राइट फैमिली इन्वायरमेंट हियर इन द आई टी रूड की वेर द डाइवर्सिटी इक्विटी एंड इंक्लूजन कॉन्सेप्ट हैज बीन कैप्ट इन माइंड सो एवरीबडी इज ऑफ द सेम राइट देर इज नो डिफरेंस इन टर्म्स ऑफ इकोनॉमी बेसिस इन टर्म्स ऑफ द कास्ट बेसिस और कम्युनिटी सो वी डोंट बिलीव इन दैट काइंड ऑफ इन्वायरमेंट सो ऑल आर दिस वन फैमिली तो दिस इज जस्ट लाइक वन अर्थ वन फैमिली वन सोल्यूशन सो आई आई टी रूड के फ्रेटर्निटी वी बिलीव दैट दी ऑल स्टूडेंट्स आर जस्ट एज ए वन फैमिली Please like and share this video and also subscribe to our YouTube channel.